What's up, Finables? Welcome back. So I elevated my table for you because today we're going to be putting on press on nails, specifically the brand Glamnetic. Now, in case you missed it in my other video, I did my 2022 favorites and I posted some nails that I absolutely love. Now, this is going to be the fourth brand I try from press on nails. And I told you in that video that I plan on doing a battle of the press ons. So today is like a little mini review, but the battle of the press ons will definitely come very soon. This might be the last brand I'm going to try. I just wanted to try some top brands that are very popular and easily accessible. So in case you've been wondering how I put on my press on nails, it's honestly so simple. There's only one little tedious part and then after that it's a breeze. The magic is in the glue. I've shown the glue so many times even in my previous 2022 video and I'll show it again in a second. Go grab your nails. Maybe we can do them together but I'm going to be using this style and it's in the style Yasmin or Yasmin right here. It's a very nice short almond style, so I'm excited to see if these live up to the hype. I've heard a lot of great things, so let's get started. I just took off all my nail polish. One pro I will say by using press on nails, well no, there's several. One, I'm saving a ton of money. Two, I'm actually satisfied because I'm picking the style exactly as I want, like how, it, how I see it through the box, it's not gonna change. You know when you give your inspo picture and then you see your nails, you're like, yeah, not it, but I like it, I think. I'm tired of settling and then sh like shoveling out so much money and my designs aren't even that intricate. So I'm just like, oh, I like press-ons. My nails are a lot more healthy. If you can see right here, my nails have grown right here. And whenever I have acrylic, they're mainly ripped. No matter how careful I am with soaking them, getting them taken off. Even when you kind of go to like bougie salons and they take your nails off, it's no different. I just like doing press-ons because they just pop right off very easy. Or you just soak them in some acetone and they all pop off. So my main thing is the fitting of the nail because I have pretty good nail beds. This is like an old, old bag. Okay, first off, let's show the nail glue. Um, I will say I don't have a very glamorous prep. It's like my little handy dandy bag. You're gonna need a nail file and a buffer. And then look, I have two backup nail glues because I already know I'm gonna be putting on a lot of press-ons in the future. Take a, like a little nail cuticle pusher. Wait, this isn't the one I like, this one. And I will say some are different because this one's more of a scraper and this one's more of a pusher. So make sure you just have like a cuticle pusher. And I just take this and I just put push back all my cuticles. Cuticles are a little out of control. Right now they're pretty good. And I just use the Sally Hansen. I'll put a picture right here. It's up in my closet and it's kind of like, I'm reorganizing, revamping you guys. I'm so sorry. I'll link it down below just to get this out of the way. And then just make sure your nails are nice and clean because you don't want any natural oils. Sometimes when you push them back, I will just nip like a little if there's like an excessive amount of skin. So I do have a little bit of excess. I'll just take like a little cuticle cutter and I'll just cut off whatever skin I think is gonna be in the way of the nail but I don't cut off a lot. The tedious part is fitting your nails. That's the thing. So this is a little before action. Look at the nails. He hydrated them with the acetone because I don't want any natural oils on my nails. Make sure you wash your hands beforehand as well. The numbers are at the tip right here on the inside. It is so faint. This is the nail right here and it fits perfectly on my thumb. Now, as you can see, there are no gaps right here on the side and that's what you really want and including the other side. Sometimes it might be a little short and you can get away with it, but the main thing is that it shouldn't feel narrow. Like if it feels tight, like it already would pop off, that's not what you want. If it goes a little bit over right here on this side and it's a little bit too big, all you have to do is just file the sides and that's the, also the tedious part. Sorry, I hope this is like in focus. I feel like it's not. This is number one. Boom, this is going to be my thumb. And I start lining them up. So this is one. Start going through them. If I can, Okay, one. So now I have my thumb down. Put them right on top of each other. These nails are fitting really nice. Let me see if I can show you. See how it's just like so flush? No gaps on the side right there. Now that I'm really feeling this, I feel like I can just file it down just a bit and that's going to make your nail last. So don't be lazy with it. Just get it over with and it's much better than having a nail pop off. So I went ahead and fit all my nails. Sometimes when you fit them, this pointer finger might also fit the third perfect and you might wanna switch them around, which is what I did because they're pretty similar, but I was like, okay, let me just kind of 
play around with it, I'm like, oh, okay, this one can actually switch around. Now I wanted to give you an example. So say for instance, this pinky one, it, act, it doesn't fit totally, but when I push it down, it does. You may think, oh, the glue would just hold it. It's too, you know what I mean? It's giving that bounce, that resistance that you don't want. And I feel that resistance, that bounce. You'll know that bounce. The nail is too narrow. So I say work from the pinky, in. So I know some of you might be a little bit like, oh, well, I kind of wanted you to use Glamnetics glue. Honestly, this is the best glue where it has brought my love for press-ons from 80% to 150%. It's almost like when you have a eyeshadow palette and if you don't really necessarily have the best brushes, the palette is ugh. But if you have some really good tools and just brings it up a notch and the palette is amazing and it gives its full potential. So same thing with this glue. It just makes any uh, press on nail so amazing. Some people may put glue on the inside. I really don't. I like the brush. You can see how much glue that you put. And when I place the nail, I start from the very bottom and then I push it down. This glue is very strong as well. So it is fast to work with so do one nail at a time so it's heel toe sort of thing okay i have to actually file this one down because i was switching some nails around and that one it was kind of bouncy i was like it's not worth it so this one it looks like it fits but it's a little bit over to my skin you want to make sure that you don't have any nails over to your skin so then i just take my file and you will have to slowly just start filing down because I've gone to the point where I'm kind of in a rush and I'm like, oh, I'm frustrated to like reshape it and size it to my nail and then it's too narrow. I'm just going to do a brush on glue. This is my favorite because I can see exactly where it goes and I put a good amount but not where it's about to already drip down. Base of the cuticle and then I bring it down. I'm just gonna hold it and pinch it. I was just trying to make sure it was like even for me. Yeah, it is. Okay, I lifted it really quick. It's already starting to bond. So now I just pinch it from the sides and I just push it down. And that's it. That's it, you guys. <laughs> like, that's literally it. So we have the first nail down right there. Super, super simple. Take the glue again, do a brush all over. I cover my entire nail. I start at the base right here. Down. I just kind of level it and now I'm going to hold on. I want to make sure. Okay. Yeah, it's straight So now I pinch the sides and push down pinch and push so it covers the whole entire surface of the nail and I'm putting pressure because I don't want any bubbles underneath Super super easy now these ones I noticed they kind of have a weird edge So you're gonna have to file them down also, some nails, your nail might have like a little twisty tab with the number, which I don't mind those at, at all. And those ones usually give you a little nail file, which I'm surprised this brand doesn't. It doesn't, oh yeah, it does. I'm just kidding, it does. It gives you a prep pad to prep your nails, alcohol, and then a little mini one. And then you can just go like that. Oh, also, um, if you wanted to use this, they give you this and you can just line your nails up. Some nails also, what brand was it? They actually had your number. So it was like they had your thumb, your pointer, all that number, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. But I don't like spreading them out because I feel like, boom, if you hit it, then they all move. That's why I just like piling them on top of each other. Okay, my fourth, this is the one that I shaped. It's fine. So I started the base, push, down, okay. All right, so there we go. There's the next one. And I'm telling you the magic is in this glue. So let me know down below, do you guys do Gelix as well? Because I bought all of the supplies. Well, not all the supplies, I already had a lot of them, but I just needed the glue. Oh, is that even? Yeah. I just needed the glue for it to bond to the nail. I'm planning to really start doing more designs and stuff because I know a lot of people do gel X and stuff or maybe we can just like have a nail day and do like a monthly nail day. I think it might be fun. Even if you put press-ons and I'm doing the gel X, it doesn't matter. We're still doing our nails together. are all done even though these nails may not necessarily fit I would keep them because all of the larger ones you can actually file down to smaller nails 
Obviously the smaller nails won't do anything for you. So if you just want to get those out of the way and toss them, you can, but keep the ones that are larger because you never know if you might lose one, then just file it down to your nail and then just place it back on. So this is what this set looks like. It's just like a very short almond look. Uh, I'm not used to wearing brown to be very honest, but I really like the shape of these. What do you think? I figured I put these on now before Valentine's Day because these are still like winterish and I'm so ready for pink nails. Uh, they sent me over some purple rectangle short nails, but I was like, ah, let me wear these first because I don't know, it's still like winter and tomorrow it's gonna rain. So I was like, all right. So yeah, um, you can go ahead about your day and everything once you put them on because they are that strong. You can always trim them down. It's all up to you. Say like you had a more square nail, you can always shape it yourself, coffin style. But what's really cool is a lot of these brands have all those different types of shapes, but just in case you can't find them in store. But I just like the accessibility. You can find them everywhere, Walmart, Target, CVS, Walgreens, um, but yeah. Uh, definitely love these. Uh, we'll see how they last. I will say the quality is very good. They're thicker nails. We'll see how like the polish um, lasts or like the design because sometimes these will scrape off and some designs will scrape off faster than others. I don't know why, it's just what it is, but these seem really nice. These can last me a good 10 days where I'm not tired of them. After 10 days, I'm kind of like, all right. And within those 10 days, I might, at the most, I will lose two nails and that should be just because I'm super rough, but these will last. I'm telling you, like this glue is where all the magic happens. This is what makes all the press on nails to me. So I'm gonna do a battle of the press on video very soon and I hope this helped you out. All right, Fine Apples, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mwah.